Enzyme replacement therapy, or ERT, is used in the treatment of some rare conditions that are caused by a congenital enzyme deficiency. That is, where a low enzyme level in the body causes problems such as muscle weakness, developmental delays, cognitive differences, and organ dysfunction. ERT replaces the missing enzyme and reduces symptoms, slows disease progression, and improves quality of life. Enzymes are proteins that help speed up processes in the body along a pathway. And each enzyme has a specific role in the body. When an enzyme level is low, forward progress in that particular pathway slows down or stops, causing substances to accumulate in a person's cells. Storage of excess materials may damage cells, impairing their ability to function normally resulting in dysfunction of organs such as the brain, liver, and heart. ERT is a therapy that can provide the specific enzyme a person is missing. It is usually administered by intravenous infusion and needs to be repeated frequently to keep the enzyme levels up because the enzyme is broken down in the body quickly. However, other types of administration other than intravenous infusion are being studied. ERT is approved to treat some types of lysosomal storage diseases. Lysosomal storage diseases are caused by a change in a gene that results in reduced production of one of many lysosomal enzymes. Lysosomal enzymes help cells get rid of waste products. In Gaucher disease, for example, the enzyme level of glucocerebrosidase is low, an excess glucosal ceramide accumulates in cells, causing liver and spleen enlargement and blood abnormalities. ERT for Gaucher disease replaces glucocerebrosidase so the cells can once again get rid of excess waste products and therefore reduce symptoms of the disease. ERT is being studied as a treatment for other conditions caused by an enzyme deficiency, such as homocystinuria, which is a condition in which an amino acid, homocysteine, accumulates in the cells, causing bone deformities, strokes, seizures, and intellectual disability. ERT is even being studied to see if treating an enzyme deficiency in a fetus before birth can prevent organ damage. ERT has many benefits, including slowing disease progression and improving symptoms, such as reduced bone pain or improved muscle strength. Sometimes it even reverses damage already done to the body. In some people, ERT may improve quality of life and extend the length of life. ERT also presents with challenges and potential side effects. It is a lifelong treatment and can cause side effects, including irritation at the IV site or the need for a more long-lasting IV site, such as a port, and allergic reactions to the ERT therapy itself. Allergic reactions are the result of the body's immune response to an enzyme that was not made by the body's own cells. This immune response may produce antibodies programmed to attack and rid the body of the infused enzyme. Sometimes this reaction can be mild, with a fever and rash, but sometimes it can be severe, causing low blood pressure and difficulty breathing. A challenge of ERT is that antibodies can attack and bind to the infused enzyme so it becomes inactive and cannot be used by the body. As a quick recap, ERT can provide a disease-specific missing enzyme to a person with a congenital enzyme deficiency. ERT is approved to treat some types of lysosomal storage diseases and is being investigated for use in several other conditions. ERT is administered by IV and may cause side effects, including allergic reactions. Other types of administration, other than intravenous infusion, are being studied. In many cases, ERT can improve symptoms, slow disease progression, and improve quality of life.